Mm, Self-love. Okay. So fun fact about me, it's not really fun, but I didn't start loving myself until a year ago. No shade, no tea. That's the truth. Hey everyone, welcome back. Welcome back to the Divine Healing with Love channel. I am Nicole. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate you all. I'm so blessed to be able to share my wisdom and knowledge with you all. And so I'm so grateful for you. So I just want to get right into it. So self-love, how to develop self-love. Self-love is something that, you know, everyone should have, but is something that's not really taught. We're starting to talk about it more now, but I can remember just, you know, growing up, it just really wasn't talked about anywhere. I think when I got into my 30s, cause I'm 36 now, I think that people started really kind of talking about it more, but it was more of a like, self-love equals self-care way which is true too not to say that's not true it is true but self-love is deeper than self-care you can get you know manicures and pedicures all day but do you really love yourself ask yourself that question so for me in my personal experience because i always share that with you all um something for me i did not love myself at all until maybe a year ago when I began really healing. I really did not love myself. I think that I told myself that I love myself in a way, but I really did not know what self-love was. I didn't know what self-love meant to me. I didn't know what that looked like. I didn't know what it meant to really embody love for myself. So something that I learned in my journey was if I can't love myself, how can I properly love anyone else? Because love for self starts here and it's first. Really and truthfully, we cannot love others the way they should be loved and the way they deserve to be loved if we can't love ourselves. We just can't do it. We could tell ourselves all day, I love this person so much, which is true, but are we really loving them the way we should be loving them if we don't have love for self? So for me, like many people, when I was a teenager, I can remember just like, oh, I just want love and I want to be loved and I want to give love and just having those desires, okay? So, you know, I ended up getting into an amazing relationship with, which is now my ex-husband, amazing relationship, full of love. However, when I wasn't feeling at my best and I wasn't feeling good enough, I was constantly codependent and expecting for him to give me more love. And when I didn't feel that I was receiving the love that I wanted, I was constantly like, I need more love from you. I need this from you. And it's like, no, 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 no. Like that's not his job. He was loving me where he was supposed to be loving me. He was giving me the love, but I was constantly like, I need more love. And the reason why is because I didn't have that love for myself. There was a serious I mean, it was really no love for myself, to be honest. Like, if I'm really being honest, I really didn't love myself at all. And so I was expecting for him to continue, like, I need more love from you. I need more love from you. But he was loving me where he was supposed to be loving me. I just didn't love myself. So the deficit within came from me. It wasn't him. It was me. And I didn't have these revelations until I started healing. And until I started realizing like, you know, why, why didn't this work? Why didn't this happen this way? You know, I was asking those questions and really just trying to figure out like where things went wrong. And then I realized because of healing that 
he was loving you the way he was supposed to be loving you. But because you didn't love yourself, you weren't A, able to receive the love like you were supposed to. And you weren't able to give the love that you were supposed to give. So these were some hard truths <laughs> that I had to face within and really look at myself in the mirror and say, okay, true T, you don't love yourself. You don't love yourself and you never really loved yourself. You've been wearing this mask of, you know, this person who cares about themselves. And I mean, I did care about myself because, but care is not love. Care is not love. It's totally different. We all know that. When you say you care about something, it's not the same as love. And so I had to then learn how to love myself. And then once I started the journey of how to love myself, everything changed. It's like the world just got brighter, like the sun got brighter. The flowers were more beautiful. Like, I swear everything changed because my perception changed. My perception was totally different now. I was able to see things differently. I was able to receive things differently. I was able to give love differently from a place of pure love because now I love myself. Now I can love people the way I should love, the way they deserve to be loved because now I love myself. So I was able to give more love to my daughters, give more love to other people, important people in my life because I was able to say that, you know what? My cup is full now. My cup of love for myself is full. So now, if anyone gives me love or I'm in a relationship, a romantic relationship, now I can receive love the way I should receive it because I'm not codependent. I'm not depending on this person to do all of these things to make me feel loved. Of course, like again, and th this is again, like what I said, like I was being loved the way I should have been loved, but I wasn't able to recognize that because I didn't love myself. And that was the bottom line that I had to realize. So when we don't love ourselves, we're working from an empty vessel or a vessel that's, you know, half full. And who wants that? Like, if you get a cup of water or you go to a bar and order a drink, do you want half a glass of wine? Or, I mean, not, well, you know where wine would usually level up, but do you want half of that? Do you want a quarter? No, you want everything you're supposed to get. If you have a cup of lemonade, no one wants 50% of that. You want 100%. So now I know once I started loving myself, everything changed. Like I said, my, my look changed. Like I was glowing. I didn't have on makeup. I'm just glowing. I feel better. I look better. I'm happier. And it's all because I'm giving myself that love. I'm not depending on others to give me the love. Anything anyone else does is a bonus because you're already giving it all to yourself. It's all in here, all the love you should have. So anyone giving you love, it's just your cup is overflowing now because your cup is already 100%. So now it's just overflowing. You're overwhelmed with so much love. And that's a beautiful thing. It's so beautiful. So I encourage you, to think about what does self-love look like for me? What does it look like when I love myself? How does that make me feel? What can I do to show myself love? Because like I said, you can get your hair done. You can go get your nails done. All of that is great. Look, I do it. I just got my nails done today. Listen, all of that is great. And it is, it is a part of self-love. But what else are you doing? Are you speaking kindly to yourself? Are you encouraging yourself? Are you being positive with yourself? Can you sit by yourself and be okay? Like just sit alone and be okay, nothing. No phone, no social media, 
no TV, nothing. And just be like, this is bliss. This is, this is happy. This is happiness. I feel great. Can you do that? And if you can't, then it's time to start developing self-love for you. If you feel like you're in a relationship now and you feel like your partner is not giving you what you need, that may also be the case. I don't know. But look at yourself. Take it inward. Say, hey, I want for my partner to do all of these things, but do I do it for myself? Do I give myself that time? Do I give myself that attention? Because for me, I know I have to give myself, just like I'm in a relationship with myself, to be honest. So I have to give myself time, love, and care and attention. So I have to spend time with myself. I have to go get myself some good food. I did that last night. I went and picked up a great meal and sat and enjoyed it and watched some TV and I was so happy. Just like, this is great. <laughs> I feel so great. I went and got my nails done today. Took myself to the nail shop. Like you have, went on a walk. You have to do these things. You have to spend time with yourself. You have to give yourself the love you deserve. And if you don't know what that is, start thinking about when I want, what I want from other people, do I give that to myself? Just start thinking about it and really reevaluate it, okay? But, and no one told you this today, I love you and I'm sending you so much love. Thank you for being here. Please like this video and subscribe. Thank you so much. I'm sending you so much love and light. I will see you in the next video. Bye.